restless leg syndrome um jebi neend ke andar generally speaking the people keep on moving their legs and usually it's accompanied by uh, or in response to uncomfortable and unpleasant sensations in the legs but the most probably they are feeling pain or they are not feeling comfortable so uski wajah se wo apni taange jo hai wo halate rehte hain characterized by either of the following uh, number 1 is begins uh, rather all of the following um, so the, the the person who has this syndrome has the urge to move the legs uh, begins or worsens during periods of rest of in, in, inactivity uh, uski jo leg legs ki usko urge hoti hai और वो अर्ज जो है वो वर्सन या तो शुरू होती है या वो वर्सन हो जाती है ड्यूरिंग पीरियड ऑफ रेस्ट और इन एक्टिविटी वैसे चलता रहे चलता रहे तो आपकी जो इन एक्टिविटी जब स्लीप है उसी में आपकी इन एक्टिविटी है तो उस वक्त उसकी ये उसके अंदर डिस्ट्रेस जो है या ये सिचुएशन जो है वर्स हो जाती है इज पार्शली और टोटली रिलीव बाय द मूवमेंट द इंडिविजुअल फील्स के बाय मेकिंग दीज मूवमेंट जो कि सोने के दौरान वो कर रहा है उसका डिस्ट्रेस जो है वो कम हो जाता है एंड द थर्ड वर्सन it becomes worse in the evenings or at night than during the day time or occurs only in the evening or at night so the individual has this feeling of distress in their legs um, more commonly during the evening kyunki apne day time ki functioning ho chuki hoti hai bahut kam aisa hota hai ki wo during day time pe aise feeling unko ho um iske alawa uh, jo um, uh, in iska jo second criteria hai for diagnosing is it occurs at least 3 times per week and have persisted for at least 3 months just like other disorders and not attributable to any other mental disorder or medical condition and are not better explained by a behavioral condition now ye aisa nahi hai ki unki koi medical condition hai jiski wajah se unke taangon ke andar koi dard hai ya koi issue hai ya koi problem hai so this needs to be ruled out now there are some common criteria which are similar for nightmare non rem rem sleep disorder as well as restless leg uh, syndrome uh, all these disorders cause significant distress or impairment in all important areas of functioning be cognitive psychological social and emotional and second they are not attributable to the physiological effect of a substance and c they coexist with mental disorder and medical conditions but they do not adequately explain these symptoms so these are three major criteria which are common to all sleep disorders which is uh, as we have seen earlier and now ki ye aapki daily living functioning ya jitne bhi aapke occupational cognitive functioning hai unko disrupt karega kisi bhi physiological effect of a substance ki wajah se nahi hai ye aapne rule out karna hai aur agar ye mental disorder ya medical conditions ke sath ho raha hai sleep disorder तो ये उतना उसके प्रपोर्शनेटली ये उसके बियॉन्ड है मतलब ये ज्यादा है वो इसको एक्सप्लेन नहीं करता